What's up guys, I'm Luke and you are watching The Creative What. So before I begin the video today, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, I've only uploaded three of these Minecraft plugin tutorial videos and I had 35 subscribers when I started doing this and we have doubled that. We just passed 70 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We got our first video over 1,000 subscribers. That is so big. Um, so if you have not subscribed, I just want to remind you, if you scroll down and click that red sub button, it would mean a lot to me. It's easy, it's free, and you can always change your mind later. So other than that, uh, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I know I have been gone for a while. Um, that's because I recently lost a close friend due to suicide, but I am back and I am ready to go. I've also been working on a cool new server. I will leave the IP in the description box below. There's tons of games you can play on there. Um, Effectum, play.effectmc.ml. Uh, I hope to see you guys there. So the plugin we are going to be talking about today is called Auction Master 2. You may have heard of it. It is amazing. Uh, it's one of the best auction plugins out there. There's so many different features, um, and they have a great Discord for support if you need it. Um, they uh, show on the plugin page, they show how to use it as well, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure this for your server today. So the first thing you want to do is go up here and click download. It is completely free, so don't need to worry about that. Go to your server page and go into your file manager, go into your plugins right here, and you can just input it right there. Um, so let's get back to Minecraft and I'll show you guys what we can do in game. All right, so we are back um, and we are right by village, which is really nice. Um, if we go, and we do the base command, which is auction, or auction house, or AH. It all brings up the same menu. If we do slash auction master help, or AH help, I think, AH help. Uh, and it brings up a menu for us right here. Auction, men uh, auction house uh, brings it up uh, for us. AH player name brings up what that player is. Um, AH delivery opens the delivery menu. I'll show you that in a second. And AH admin opens up the admin menu. So you can send a delivery to players. Um, and you can send it. You can set the delivery, remove a delivery, and get the delivery items from a selected player. You can create a, a NPC. I don't have citizens installed, but it will make uh, an NPC right there for us, which is super awesome. Um, you can see the help page right here. Uh, delivery, manage, blah, blah, blah. But you can do that all um, with the AH admin command. You can do debug NPCs if you have multiple. Uh, you can uh, reset their title and it should all work properly if you click this. And then you can manage auctions that have ended um, as an admin and you can send money to people and stuff. So automatically it hooks in with a uh, vault. Automatically it hooks in with vault. And as you can see, I have auction master, essentials, essentials chat and vault installed. Those are basically the, um, Essentials and Essentials Chat, as well as Essentials Spawn, but I didn't use this, and Vault are the main plugins that you should have on every single server. I would recommend that. And Auction Master. So let's get right in to, let's give ourselves um, Diamond Sword, and we'll give ourselves um, a Diamond Chest Plate as well. Whoops. You gave us 64. We don't want that. There, now we have one. So, <clears throat> um, as you can see, in my inventory, I have the diamond chest plate on. And if we do, if I want to sell this diamond chest plate, all I have to do is slash H. And we can find auctions based by category weapons, armor, tools, consumables, blocks, and others. And you can sort them and um, filter them. 
and you can actually search by item name. You can search for, let's say I wanted diamonds. So I could search for diamond. And it would show us anything containing the name diamond or anything close to it. So you can view your current bids on items if you click on view bids, but I don't have any right now, so I can't see that. And manage auctions. You can create a new auction. So if I wanted to do a diamond chest plate, it gives me the starting bid, which, which um, it thinks I should go for. And I can create that auction right there. It automatically hooks in with Vault, as I've already said. And I can set the duration to... Uh, I can set it to 48 hours, but all of these have an extra fee. So if I want it to go for a really long time, I can have for two days, and it'll give it'll um, make me have an extra fee. I don't have enough money right now, so let's go eco, give, LWP awesome, and then we'll just give ourselves a million dollars, because why not? So now let's go to AH again. It's already saved in there, which is great. If we leave it in there, it'll be right there. Um, I'm going to bump up the starting bid, so you, what you'll want to do is put in whatever you want here. So let's sell it for $1,000, and it will um, make us pay $1,935 when we click Create Auction because uh, we did it for two days. And then if we just click Confirm right there, it says your auction was created, and if we check in the Auction Browser, we check an armor category, and there it is. Um, it's for 1,000 coins, and it ends in uh, there. Yeah, so if we click on it, we can, as an admin, we can open the auction, and we can see delete it, and we can give it to someone, um, get a copy of the item, edit the auction's duration, and end the auction if we needed to. We can submit a bid um, just like this, but this is our own auction, so we can't place a bid on it. But people can submit a bid just like that, and they can be able to see the bid history over here, which is really nice. Now, let's say I wanted to sort it by the um, most bids on an item. Then I would just click over here to most bids, and since I'm the only bid and I have zero, it would automatically say that. But it um, directs to highest bid on default, um, if we do auctions only, then it will show us only auctions, but if we do a bin, you can buy it now, which is bin, um, and it is a super cool plugin. You may notice it looks like, um, you may notice it looks like Hypixel Skyblock. That's because the developer made it to look like Hypixel Skyblock. I'm still not convinced that, um, they did not actually use this plugin because it is very similar. Um, so if we go to AH and let's create a new auction. And we'll do a diamond sword this time. And we'll switch it to buy it now. So we want to set the item price to $5,000 because it's just buy it now. And we'll do the auction duration for um, 12 hours. And we'll click create. And then if we do slash AH, auction browser, right there we have diamond sword. And I can buy it now for 5,000 coins. So I could buy it now, but it's my own option, so I can't. Um, in here at armor, if we select um, auctions, if we select bin, it will disappear because it's not, um, it's only an auction. But if we go over here and select auctions only, it is only a bin because we can only buy it now. Um, so for your players, if they want to manage your auctions, they can see right here, there are different options they have. So they can see the price and when their auctions are ending right here, which is very nice for them. Um, here for deliveries, um, when you get an auction, it will show up right here in deliveries and it will give you your item right there, which is very nice. So I showed you pretty much everything you need to know for the auction uh, for the auction master plugin in game. Now I want to show you the config right after a short message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop intended to make finding the ideal plugins for your Minecraft server simply. They uphold reasonable and just business practices by acknowledging client and creator feedback and are continually improving their platform. 
Make sure you guys check them out with the links below to find unique plugins for your Minecraft server. All right, so let's check out the configuration files for this plugin. So right here, we have the admin configuration. <laughs> it's basically just like what the things do um, in the admin menu and stuff. And it's basically just messages and things for that. If you're making like a setup or something for someone else, you could definitely use this um, to help configure it to their liking. So the auctions manager, this is what you really want to configure. This is how you um, can see what the auction looks like and you can change the color scheme and all of that. Um, right here, it's the sign message. Um, there's so many different things that you can configure. Um, this is basically just the main GUI. Um, here is bids related. And you can see this is um, the tiny bit of the GUI that's all of the bid uh, stuff. Your bid's too low, your bid was successfully placed. You can have a minimum of 28 bids, yes, yes, yes. Um, there's so many different things you can configure and I just don't have much time to go over all of it. Um, so here is buyitnow.yml and basically this shows it to you when um, it's a buy it now item instead of an auction item. You can sort through all of this and completely customize it to like whatever you want. Um, the config.yml is not much. Basically what it is, um, you can change a couple things with the GUI and um, like categories and stuff like that, but it's not much. Most of the customization aspects are in um, the other ones like the auction manager.yml. Um, this is just some nitty gritty stuff if you really want to do something different with this plugin, which you can. You can add blacklist of items and it says this item is not auctionable. And it, you can change, <laughs> you can't change the version actually. It says do not change this. So if we go back to currency.yml, basically all this says is vault. And that's it. You can change it to a different currency if you would like, but automatically it's set to Vault because that is the default currency and even most currency plugins are based on Vault. And unless you have script, you do not have to configure this at all. If we go into the menus.yml, it will just show you what you want um, in here and you can edit the size and where the um, and where the items are placed in it and what they do and stuff like that. The sounds.yml, you can just choose the different sounds for what is happening and you can get those sounds. Um, I'm sure if you just look up Minecraft sounds, there'll be a website with all the different sounds like right here or pick up just like that. All right, um, menus, the menus folder has armor, blocks, consumables, others, tools, and weapons. You can customize that with the different colors and stuff. I'm just gonna show you one of them. And basically it's just the lore, the name, the menu item, um, and then the custom names and uh, stuff like that, if you would like to uh, do something cool with that. But that's basically it. They're all the same and you can just, again, if you're doing a setup or you just want it to look the, the with the theme of the server, you can easily configure that in those ones as well. In the database, you can hook it up to MySQL and as well as the logs and the auction data will hook it up into MySQL as well. That is about all you can do with the, with the config files. So let's go back in game and wrap it up. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this plugin as much as I have. Of course, I will leave all the links for this plugin down in the description box below as well. And if you want to share this video with your friends, please do. Um, let's try and get to 100 subscribers very soon. That's our new goal now that we've passed the 50 subscriber milestone as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I am getting a new website, 
and I'll be showing you that probably in the next video or a video after that or it's coming very soon and you can request a shout out and stuff on my old website which I'll still leave linked in the description box below and I may be turning on comments very soon as well so I can uh, get comments and shout them out as well um, but Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!